Hey guys, so today I'm going to talk about the company called NetMind and their cryptocurrency called NMT. And for any of you guys that recently watched my video on Dynex, you're going to see a lot of similarities between Dynex and this token. But you're also going to see just why this token is a great, um, great cryptocurrency and why it seems to be quite undervalued right now and should do very well over the next year. So let's get into it. So yeah, if we just begin by looking, um, so similar to what I did with the Dynex video before, I'm just going to talk a little bit about Dynex and, you know, what, what they say they do and stuff like that, and then break it down into something simpler that you, you guys can understand. But if we go to the uh, NetMind website, you just hear that they, they say training, fine tuning, inference, the decentralized machine learning and AI platform, and... Then it says that you can contribute your GPUs, much like Dynex as well, and then you can join the beta. And obviously you can sign up then to to their network as well as a customer, if you like. Um, so this is a breakdown of what NMT does from you know other other sources. So first of all, access to compute power. NMT provides users with a- with access to computational resources powered by AI. Whether it's running complex algorithms, processing large data sets, or training machine learning models, NMT facilitates efficient utilization of computer power. Cost efficiency. By leveraging NMT, users can access computer resources without the need for expensive hardware or infrastructure. This cost-effective approach democratizes access to computational power particularly for smaller organizations or individuals with limited resources. Decentralized governance. NMT operates within a decentralized ecosystem where token holders have a say in governance decisions. This ensures transparency and fairness in the management of computational resources, empowering the community to shape the direction of the platform, and the incentivize participation. NMT incentivizes users to contribute cont- computational resources to the network. And um, contributors are rewarded with NMT tokens, creating a symbiotic relationship that drives the growth of the uh, and sustainability of the ecosystem. Okay, I know that's a lot of words, but I'm going to explain what that means in a second. And I'm going to explain it um, much in the way that I explained Dynex, if you watched that video. Um, but just one thing that I really want to know early on is just how impressive this project is already. So this is from a person that's very popular on X called Crypto Kaduna, Kaduna, Kaduna. I recommend checking out their, their um, X or Twitter if you get the chance. But they posted just recently that an AI researcher at OpenAI is admiring the GitHub of NetMind AI. What if OpenAI starts using NetMind's data set of benchmarks? NMT is a no-brainer. Don't listen to me. Listen to an AI researcher working at one of the leading AI research organizations globally. So just explaining why N- N- NMT is appears to be a big deal and should be a big deal and is probably a blue chip company, if I'm honest, that's just disguised as a cryptocurrency right now. Um, so let's get into more detail of what NMT does. And it's very similar to Dynex. Um, so if you think of limited resources in the world, so, you know, c- kind of historically, there have been things like gold and then oil has been a limited resource. Well, now in the last few years, one of the most limited resources in the world is computational power. So the actual CPUs and GPUs that make up computers and power um and power huge companies like Amazon, Meta, and Google, and all these other companies, and allowed them to do do the work that they want to do. But all these huge companies are battling to get this CPU power because it's becoming a limited resource. There's only so many as uh, CPUs or G and GPUs in the world, and they're all battling to get this compute power so that they can be a, a leading company in the world. And they might have these great ideas but they don't actually have the compute power to execute on those great ideas and then you've got smaller startup companies who need a lot of compute power but they they can't afford to buy you know huge amounts of of computational resources 
So what a lot of companies like NMT and Dynex are doing is they're um, outsourcing these computational resources um, for these companies. Um, they, they act as an outsourcer. So if you think of it, it's in a similar way to um, Amazon. So Amazon has its, um, its data warehouses where they're outsourcing computational resources. So if you're a small company, you can just plug into Amazon's web service, their AWS, use all their their tools, all their systems, use all their computational power, um, and you might only need it for a few days, and then you can just plug out the system. The exact same thing that, that Dynex is doing. But the way, or sorry, that N NMT and Dynex are doing, but the way NMT and Dynex are doing this is they're doing it very cleverly by using um, crypto miners' computational power and putting that all together. So <clears throat> let me explain what I mean by that. So if you take something like Bitcoin, um, you know, the first cryptocurrency, the Bitcoin network is powered and secured by miners all over the world. So they could be just people like you or me that just have a computer and they start mining Bitcoin. And while they're mining Bitcoin, they're validating transactions on the Bitcoin network and securing the Bitcoin network and powering it. And then in return, they get paid in Bitcoin. But that's all they're doing with th those computational resources. Now, with companies like NetMind and Dynex, what they're doing is they, um, th is people, again, just like you or me, and like the people who mine Bitcoin, they use their computer to mine NMT, or in the other situation, which we were saying before, Dynex. And while they're mining those tokens, they're giving their compute power to the network. And in return, then they receive the NMT token or the Dynex token. And as they're powering the network, when you think there's hundreds of thousands of people all over the world mining these cryptos, all of that's being put together into a supercomputer. Then companies like these ones that we see here, it could be Amazon, eBay, Apple, Google, any of these companies, they can then go and plug into that network so they can sign up um, as a customer for NetMind and they can go and access all that compute power at a cost-efficient rate as far more compute power than they have in their companies. And then they can um, they can solve, um, you know, AI tasks that they're, that they're trying to solve. They can power um i don't know what whatever websites that they want power whatever i don't any number of things they they can do with that computational power and then smaller companies have the same access to that power even you with your laptop can become a customer of nmt and sign up with that power so <clears throat> with that what this means then is when it says access to compute power it means that nmt is taking all that compute power from these miners who get paid in um, the NMT token and it's getting their compute power and then it's giving all these companies who can come to the NetMind website, sign up and become a NetMind customer and get access to all that computational power and use it then for things like running complex algorithms, processing large data sets or training machine learning models. And then as we see with cost efficiency, because um, NMT's collab put, putting all these resources together and getting them basically for free, all they're doing is giving people the NMT token in return. They can actually uh, source all this computational power for really cheap. And then they go and give it out to their customers, um, like these huge companies. But also, as it says here, they can, they de de they're democratizing access to that computational power. So smaller organizations or individuals with limited resources can get access to the exact same power, computational power that these huge companies can. Um, and then obviously because there's all these uh, miners all over the world, it becomes decentralized. And then as they say here, it's incentivized participation and NMT incentivizes users to con contribute computational resources to the network. So all that means is that these miners here, they mine the uh, cryptocurrency NMT and that's how they get paid. And in return, they're giving their computational power to the network and NMT can sell it to these um, these customers here. Um, 
And then, as it says, cont contributors are re rewarded with NMT tokens, creating a symbiotic relationship that drives the growth and sustainability of the ecosystem. So it's a really incredible, um, incredible development, and so is Dynex. And if you realize that the sector that NMT and Dynex are in, you just have to look at in NVIDIA, because NVIDIA um, is a, a company that designs and sells GPUs for gaming, cryptocurrency mining, and professional applications. So it's a huge company, and that's it's basically covering the exact same area that uh, NMT with their netmind or netmind with their NMT token and Dynex with their um, D, uh, DNX token are covering. And it, if you look and you start to understand the the um, what's happening in the world since GPU power is becoming such a limited resource, you can see what's happened to Nvidia in the last few years. So, you know, for a long time the um, share price of NVIDIA was very low, but now, as in the last year, the price has just gone crazy, and it's probably just going to go crazier and crazier because, people, you know, all these top companies really need that that G GPU power. And if you look at the Netmine token, it's got a lot higher of a market cap than Dynex, and that's why I think Dynex is incredibly undervalued. But still, if you look at the Netmine token, it's got a market cap of around 185 million. And you compare that to um, to NVIDIA that I think it crossed a trillion market cap recently. I'm pretty sure I'm right in saying that. Um, then you've got, you know, what looks like a very, very undervalued cryptocurrency. I did actually own a lot of NMT till recently, but because I'm really, really even more bullish on Cubic because it's a layer one project, I decided to sell my NMT and move into Cubic. I might regret that in the long term, but um, for now, I'm just so bullish in Cubic. But if I get the chance and NMT doesn't fly up too much in price in the future, I'm going to go and buy more of the, the NMT token. By the way, I'm making this video a few days before it's released, so maybe the price has gone up or down since then, but it should be around this price when you're when you're watching this video. And um, that's all I've got for you today, guys. I'm going to see you all on the outside.